Okay, um, all right, I've got myself some um, uh, petroleum jelly, some um, or Vaseline, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to, um, I use this when I'm, when I'm using um, reskinning drum heads, I'll uh, dip a, uh, the end of my, um, the, the rod um, that goes into the hoop. I'll just dip it in the end so when it, when it screws in, it just uh, gives a bit of lubrication and it stops it from drying out. So I'll just do that there, it doesn't take much. And you know what? That'll just help that a little bit. Sweet. Right. Now I suggest that it goes up on the bottom. Down the front. Let's have a look. On the bottom and then screwing on. right on, I'll go tight to shit, and then same thing, second one, right, that's probably a little bit much, take some of it off, okay, second one in, on top just seems a little bit loose. You wouldn't want that rattling at all. We'll find out. Right. Um, okay, next step is to get the um, we're gonna use two of these ones here uh, and this is gonna screw um, from the end into the frame. So uh, if we go the base end first might be easier to do. Grab my base end that we've unpacked earlier. Oh, it's very heavy, very solid. Okay. Right. So that's going to go like that. Okay, so it clips in, and then again, I'll just dip and get this in here. End, I think. Right. So that goes in there. That screws in holding the um, crossbar in. Do the same thing with this. Screw it on. Treble end. This is the treble end, and um, it's going to go down. It clips it at the bottom, so like that. There, it's going to go in like that. So I'll just put a little bit of Vaseline on my end of my screw there. Okay, 
Press that again. Messy stuff. Right. Right, so that's tight. Uh, okay. Next page. Uh, it does say make sure the pins in the bracket are inserted into the holes on the crossbar before turn, tightening the knobs. So that's good, we've done that. Um, that's cool, it's all looking pretty solid. There's a little, little bit of movement there. See, so yeah, I suppose when you get the other part of the frame on, that will um, make that a lot more solid. But I mean, it's pretty solid as it is, um, which is good. Okay, assemble the truss. Okay, ah, truss assembly. That's what that little bit there's for. Um, okay, loosen and remove the quick release mechanism on the base end. I oh, so normally that would be in there. Um, Right, so we've got to put this in through there and tighten it. So let's, how does that work? Does it go that way? And then that goes that way, right. Let's try this. So this goes through here. Well, you have to screw it in. I get screws in. Now, if you can see that, you probably can't see that there. I'm just screwing uh, this little uh, uh, truss tightener into the truss. It's going to join them up. Right? And then, as it comes through, I can uh, stick this little end bit on. Uh, wanting to play basketball <laughs> on the garage wall where I'm recording <laughs> if it won't work okay so that's in and through so if I loosen that off a little bit Where does that go? Um, doesn't really say which way this goes, whether it goes, I imagine because it's got the beveled bits here, that's going to be the bits that kind of grip onto the other side of the frame. No, that doesn't work, so maybe it's this way. all that back. So that's all one piece. So okay I've got that wrong. Um, it doesn't screw on underneath like that. Take this out now. So it's all one piece that goes down. Um, it's not super clear on. Uh, you just have to squint your eyes a little bit to get it. But so let's try that again. So this bit here, which way does it go? Go that way. Not 100% sure on that. Let's see if there's something else in here that kind of helps with that. Way. 
it's got a little bit of rubber. So I'd say that's probably got rubber. They've had it that way already on there. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not quite clear. I think it goes. that matches the size I'm going to show you I'll just come up a little closer and show you what all the issues are um, so um, this bit here I think it goes that way there um, because it's more to the same size of of that part so I'm going to go with that that way there it's not going to mark the frame whereas I think the first the people who set it up in the store they put it the other way around they have marked the frame there I'm not sure if that is the way to do it you wouldn't think so let's try that that's pretty good it's uh, nice and solid there certainly not going to come apart right okay so we've done that and now this is going to settle into there okay uh, right let's see how this goes it's pretty reasonably heavy all of this in there. This is in there. Right. There we go. So it actually does kind of clip in. There's a part where it does clip in. I'll just change that camera angle a little bit again. Um, right. So now we'll have uh, a couple more of these, there's four more of these um, uh, tightening uh, rods here. So let's have a look, see how it goes. So they go from the top, they do. Okay, so yeah, that's, that looks good. So they looks like they come in from the top, go in like that there. Yeah, I'll put some little bit of Vaseline on that just to give it some lubrication. one in there, so it's a little bit tighter. There we go, just need a little bit of that uh, bit of persuasion, but it's, it's all good. They're in tight now. The kids are on school holidays at the moment, so that's why there's a bit of action going on outside. My son and his friend just had a jam next door in the drum studio on the uh, Outshine drums and through the jam hub so all you hear is the tap tap of the pads rather than any actual sound that's that first one in the uh, is that the bass end? yeah first one in the bass end okay. I'm going to wipe my hands with some stuff I'll wipe them with my pants for now
see it sitting there in a minute. I see a cloth. I'm going to go for it. Get the hands wet. Okay, so we are next phase, which will be probably putting the frame on. Now the screws for that. Okay. Let's see what the instructions are telling us here. Um, our transmission shaft is next, so we've got that over here. Spring pin, there's a spring pin that goes onto this. Uh, you push it in. Can't go either way, can it? Right. Uh, spring pin. Oh, what does it say? Connect the swivel female shaft. So it's looking like that. Yeah. It matches up with. Uh, you probably can't see this, but there's a screw on one side, and there's the, um, the other end of the screw coming through the other side. Uh, and it looks like kind of that's how it. Oh no, I've done it the wrong way around. Whoops. I see. So it goes that way. There we go. This bolt just, so it just pulls out, which is nice and easily. Easy to do. Push it in. Oh. Okay. So it doesn't actually clip in. Right. So that's together. And then you just stick it in, I suppose. Uh, it's not overly clear exactly how to do it. I'm assuming it's got a little spring-loaded system in here that... Oh, I see. Oh, hang on. This isn't right. Okay, so I've jumped a step here. It's all good. Okay, so it says, um, take the connecting side, the male shaft, and lay it on the support platform. Uh, uh, the male shaft. That might be the male shaft. There. Uh -huh. um, well, it's got, I see. So they're saying the male shaft is the, that bit, not the other end here. They're talking about this part here. I thought they meant this end here. So stick it and lay it on. So it's laying on the platform, um, and then take the receiving side female shaft and lay it on the supporting platform. Okay, so you've got to join them up first of all here, which is a trouble like that. So that's that. Now, how do we get this? And this is the, the thing. Um, connect the receiving side, yep. Yeah, it just says to push it on. It's not overly. It's not really, it's not really clear. Um, I just wanted to have a little fiddle. Well, I don't really, when I do that, often that's when things go wrong. Uh, put it on first. 
first. Uh, uh, I think I'm going to have to clip it in. I think they're asking me to clip the end in first. Okay, let's try that. That's showing that you should probably push this end in first. So let's do that. So the way that this goes. There we go. Okay, so that's in. That's just slid in there. Right. Hopefully it's still recording. Um, right, so I've, I've slid that end in. I think it's saying slide the other end in. Uh, I think you do this, join this bit up. So, uh, so it's that way. There. sections of the shaft once it has been assembled and connected properly to the treble leg. Okay, that makes sense. So you push that in, it joins up together, and then when you push this in here, it will leave a little gap. Get that in. There we go. Right. Oh no, it's pulled that end out now. Hopefully I'll get better at doing this if I'm doing gigs because this isn't the easiest thing to do, I have to say. just because it's new it's there we go just a little bit hard to, to get on but um, you probably can't see there but just in here there's a little gap now between the the two bits and that little pin I see just pops out and holds the whole thing in place there so that should make this work uh, I'll make sure I was at the same point on both ones one and in doing that, I think I wasn't quite, I'll do that, take that one down, put it down, there we go, yeah I, I fiddled with it and I made it go up a bit, so now it is, Got it, got it, right, so now when I do this, the whole frame will go up the same, just at the same speed. So I'll take it up to, I'll take it up to two and just double check, so there's exactly on two there. Let's check the other end to make sure that it has gone up. And it's right on two there, so we've uh, got it right, which is great. Okay. We'll leave it at that because I'll probably have to go higher uh, than that eventually. Right, okay, next step. Um, oh, resonators. Of course, resonators go on first and then the uh, 
and then the frame. Okay. Um, right. Um, let's start with the start with the treble. They're the ones that are there. Um, doesn't say to do it in any particular order. Side resonators set onto support arms extended from truss. There are three sections. That's if it's the um, five octave, but this is the four and a third, so there's two sections. Uh, right. Let's take a look at that. Um, so this was our front part. Um, this is our Accidentals. Yeah, it goes on. You've seen there, it's going on here. There's, there's these little wee um, clips that are sticking off the frame, and these just slip on top of those. And it slips on pretty easily, actually. It's nice, nice and easy, and it's nice and solid, which is fantastic. Uh, while I'm doing that, I'll do the what have I got next here? Oh, the next one that's down here is the um, other treble side. There's Naturals. Right. Okay, that's that. And then, oops, I have no problem at all. Um, let's go base now. Get that out of the way. Uh, this is the. Um, Accidental base resonator here. This one, the you'll see that the uh, the base tubes again are angled at the bottom, starting to angle out. There we go. It's that, and so it looks very. Stylish from the front with all the little cutaways there, uh, and then we'll go the other side, which is the base resonators on the natural side. So that's um, it's really easy to do. Certainly a lot easier than the fold-out system trying to manage that and uh, and put both of them uh, and put one one on so that yeah definitely makes that map that a lot easier uh, okay um, next step is the frame put the rack on top of the truss bar posts facing up uh, tighten knobs four knobs for every section under the truss okay so it's talking about it's showing in the manual showing the the five octave but uh, the base end, still the base end, so um, let me get that, I'll move this one out of the way. Uh, right. There we go. Right, so let's just see if this is going to sit on easily. To try and match that straight on with the screws, I see, and then uh, this, the resonators are just cut away so that the frame sits in there nicely. Um, I see there's little screws underneath here that just screw into the frame, and they're already pre sitting here, so they just sit here the whole time. These little screws in the, um, in the main part of the, the central truss, there's these. Uh, little screws that are sitting there, and there's four per section. So screw those on. Right, there you go. It's on there and tightened up. Right, right, and then this one. Too tight, but obviously want it tight enough so it's secure. All right, set that there. 
Excellent. Now we're going to go treble uh, part of the frame to go on. Um, bit of uh, fluffy stuff to um, uh, on the middle part of the, the, the bar here where it touches the resonator so there's nothing wherever there's metal and metal it's always separated by um, a bit of foam a bit of felt I should say one of those was just coming off a little bit so that may be a problem later on as you use it the felt might wear and may need to be be replaced at some stage so we'll worry about that when the time comes. Let's see. Um, sitting at that there, it's not perfectly matched, but I haven't screwed it in yet. So let's screw it in and see how that goes. Let's take that out. And the next one. And there's four. Uh, yep, there is four on this one as well four squirrels just that hold the frame on the center truss. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, yep, yeah, right. Okay, so we're getting this one screwed in, aren't we? between the frame, oh, I'll talk about that shortly, let's get it, let's get it on properly. good how the resonators aren't actually touching the um, the bar frame it's, I mean it's quite cool how the, the resonators kind of float, float separately from that which is good um, yeah, that's a bit more it's not quite this little bit here I don't know if you'll see that far away but it's not matched up 100% I'm not sure if the bars maybe there's a bit of movement in that whether that's it's not ideal whether there's I suppose the ideal thing would be have a way that locks those bits together a bit more. But um, yeah, you see there's, there's movement between those those sections there. So interesting to see if that uh, affects anything at all. Um, right, uh, time for the bars. Yeah. Um, and we've got to put the treble section on first, so we're going to go for that. Let's see if we can find that in here. Um, having a bit of a guess here, I think. By the looks of it, these look like they might be the, the treble section, just by size uh, of the bars, and uh, they've like got some smaller ones. And it's a bigger package than the other small ones, so it says to me it's probably the natural. on the bar here. I'm not sure if that's just because it's been on the shop floor. A few little spots of white on the bar. 
whether it was just from the packaging, I'm not quite sure. those will clip around there like that and like that right, we'll look at that shortly so that goes on there mm, okay that must go to here and you've got how much should I saw that must go um, clip on on the inside Again, not overly clear. Uh, position each stone between the posts. Position from the large end to work progressively towards the small end. Okay. Pull the excess bar cord to the treble end and bring the bar cord around the metal posts. Tighten the cord fastener. Okay. Right, let's try all of that. Uh, I think these ones go on here. There. And showing, oh, there's ones on the outside as well. Uh, now I'm confused. Um, well, I don't know. The outside ones must be for the base clip, wouldn't they? Base notes, I think. posts we'll figure out how to do that little end part uh, shortly so it'll be easy to just to sit on which is really good we'll do sit on mm. it's not working so well is it um, oh, I see because I have to pull that through won't I that will This here, there's little wee clips on here. Uh, I wonder if you, yeah, you must bring them in to there like that. Is that how it works? Yeah, I'm not completely sure here. Um, again, instructions are ah, fantastic. Um, And the picture on here is different to what's on there, which is always annoying when that happens. They make a design, then they make a design change, but they don't update the manual. Um, looks like. Hmm. Not one hundred percent sure here bear with me while I figure this out. Uh, so where's that go? So does that go around there like that? And then, I see, pull it that way. Just pull it the opposite way that I was doing it. And around there. I think that's right. Uh, not sure of how. Uh, it's got up as tight as it goes. Uh, still not convinced that I'm doing that right. Loosening, just tightening. 
So that's as tight as that goes. They'll bring them both in like that. So both the little clips are like touching each other. And that's as tight as that goes. It's reasonably, it's reasonably tight around there, which is good. When um, this wasn't tight at the start, this one wasn't resonating properly, but as now, yeah. Still some little white bits on the bar here, I'm not 100% sure what those are. They're like the in the wood, almost. Okay, and then uh, I suppose you tighten that up. And tuck it away so it's out of sight, out of mind. Try basically. Let's do the bass notes. Um, I wonder if this is more here. This looks like it could be the treble, of the, sorry, the um, naturals of the bass. Sorry about this, this gets unstuck. I don't really want to get my craft knife out at the moment. So just pull it apart, then get a knife anywhere near the bars. through here, clip onto the outside. Right. Back in there. I see, like that. Uh, oh, hang on, that's not right. They must have to go through that bit as well. because I don't really want those bits touching the other bar. Mm. You're definitely want uh, free floating. Um, minorly confused. Um, to go oh uh, hang on is that meant to go I'm a bit confused still um, oh no so no I did that right so this ends correct where it clips onto the inside which I've done in the base section lead on the naturals rack. Bar cord should go around the metal post before hooking on the outer columns. That's the metal post before hooking on. The, okay, so yeah, I've done that. So it's gone around the outer post before hooking on the. And I think that'll. Once I get all the notes in the right place. Pull that nice and tight. Get a 
else it'll do. Solution. I've got solution to as well. Um, it's like never go as a, as a scout to try to tie knots. I was completely rubbish. Nice white bars at the end, which is great. Super tight, but it's um, just good. Now, where it was, um, as it goes down and through onto those outer little clips, the the chords right out of the way now, so it's not touching. So there is a little bit of a bigger gap just between those notes there, which is. Um, I suppose it's similar. Yeah, that's similar to the, the Yamaha there as far as gaps go. I suppose until I start playing it, I'm not really going to know what the, the, the gap difference is. Right. right, okay, so we're moving on to the next section. Um, and that's just the same kind of thing again. Um, uh, that one there. Okay, so with the naturals, because you've got a gap, they can. It's easier for them to, to clip those bits around. So, um, okay, let's try that. Starting with the treble clef. Actually, also the treble clef. So this one's a metal peg there, to get some stability. Peg that's going there. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. So that's nice little and tight there. Um, if I can, that's loosening. So if I tighten that one. Basically, f straight away got a nice tone, which is excellent. You'd expect that. Uh, uh, sharps, 
Some advice, please. Right, AC is up inside. scenes. Is all the, um, the bits? Is it easier to put together, or does it make it take longer to set up? I suppose they're all good questions to be asking. Um, right. Just back down here. Don't really want those loose bits hanging down the front. That look ugly. And we'll pull that tighter to get that on. Oh, hold on, I worked out, I forgot to, um, I forgot to put it around the little metal one there, which uh, is really important. Because if you don't do that, um, the bars don't really have anything to latch onto. Um, that's the best way to do that. I'm not sure if try it like that. There we go. Yeah, that would be better going around the. I've got them coming in and behind that. I'm not sure if that's best way to do that or not. I just wanted to uh, end that. If it sounds good, then that's, that's fine. Right, tighten this end up here. Uh, just pull that one point if that seems to. as long as they are, because they do look a bit daggy, kind of dangling down. Um, so I'll just wrap that around a few times. Okay, let's try do this again. Um, Those ones there seem to be a little bit easier to do, the base end, rather than these ones. Um, certainly a little bit fiddly. Do that. I suppose if you do them like that, Going to be something to experiment with. Just trying to get those ends a bit tidier. Right. Right. 
done. It took a little while, um, but I'll um, uh, I'll get it a bit more set up as far as height and everything for me, um, and then um, I'll do another video with a little bit of a having a little bit of a play. So this is the majestic reflex reflections um, low A marimba. Hope that was helpful and uh, yeah, I'll come back with a video with me doing a little bit of playing um, once I get used to it and uh, you can hear it as well. Awesome, thanks for, thanks for listening.